He says it was just a terrible accident. A man who killed a toddler last year in a crash claims he was not impaired, as prosecutors claim. Today, both sides presented their cases in his trial. News 13's Kim Baez is live in the newsplex with more. Kim. Well, police say Ramon Rascon admitted to taking drugs the day he slammed into the back of a car, killing 18 month old Brandon Lucetto. But today, in opening statements, his attorney said it was not what caused the crash. What you're going to hear about is an accident. Uh, you're going to hear about how Mr. Rascon, as he was driving uh, eastbound on Constitution approaching Morris, uh, he heard his daughter crying in the backseat. He turned back to look at her and see what she's crying about. Roscon's attorney says when Roscon turned back, it was too late. He then slammed into the back of the car, carrying Brandon and his twin brother Ryan, who were both buckled in their car seats. Brandon suffered severe head trauma and was eventually taken off life support. His brother suffered severe injuries, which left him in a body cast, but he has recovered. Prosecutors say there is no doubt Roscon was impaired and driving recklessly that day. The defendant admitted the crash was his fault. He knew it was his fault. He said he hit the gas when he turned on the Constitution, probably hit it all the way to the floor. He knew he was speeding. He'd driven that route before. He knew there was a four-way stop there. He knew his license was suspended. And again, he admitted that he had used Ambien earlier that day and taken some hits of meth. And prosecutors say blood tests do show that Roscon had a substantial amount of meth in his system that day, indicative of chronic use. Back to you. Okay, Kim, the children's grandfather was the one driving the car that day. He is the first witness for the prosecution.